Something is about to happen in the cryptocurrency market. So let's talk about what I'm seeing here, some coins, some news and everything that you need to know to be fully up to date. First of all, checking out the Bitcoin chart here. We can see this is the weekly chart right now. And I really do think that we're on the precipice of something happening pretty violent in this market right now. You can see that we've had one, two, three, four, and now potentially five weeks of basically nothing at all happening for crypto. And it's very rare that we see these spaces. And when we do, violent moves tend to follow after them, right? So let's start back here. First of all, what I'm seeing is a very similar uh, a very similar time space to what we saw in this space here, which makes me worried about this drop. We saw this drop down 52% and the amount of time that we were down here from this low to here just before we dropped was around 150 days. And right now from this low to here is about 120 days. So this is a very similar time frame. We had the all time highs here and here we dropped down and now we are basically stagnating in price. And a very similar thing is playing out on the new on this current bear market here. And we did follow that with a 50% decline in the price. So pay attention to that. It's very much on the cards, 50% from where we are right now puts us at around puts us at around ten thousand dollars which is what everyone's calling for so the bears in the comments may very well be right i am preparing for this by simply dollar cost averaging and then waiting dollar cost averaging again when the market gets scared continuing to do that if i can buy bitcoin at nineteen thousand, but also at ten thousand, it's really happy days for me because i personally believe it's going over ten thousand. anyway with that said what happened next? Another boring period in the market right here, but we had a 300% move, but we had around a 300% move here in the bull, in the semi bull market in 2019. Most people discount that as anything, but there was a lot of money to be made there if you were simply still paying attention. Now those gains got lost down here just at the COVID crash, and then we all know what happened next. So with that said, looking at the weekly chart still, we have this descending trend line that we've been watching closely, and we haven't made a break yet basically traveling sideways and this is very very rare if we drop this down to a lower time frame we can have a look here on bitget we got very clear price action between around 19.8 and around 18.4 here basically up and down from there and as we speak the market is deciding where it wants to go i would say if we pushed fairly quickly up to this twenty thousand dollar region we'd probably get a rejection so that could be a good place to trade same to be said if we trend downwards it could be a great place to trade and grab this bounce here if we do bounce off this 18,400. Right now, I'm just waiting to see some trends play out. We have had some very successful trades recently here on the channel. So if you do want to make the best right now, BitGet are giving away $10,000 worth of bonuses. $10,000 of deposit bonuses. Absolutely incredible. All you have to do is follow the link down there in my description. It'll also be the pinned comment and you can go and grab those benefits so you can get ready for the next potential trade. Now, with that said, if we do head over to the crypto bubbles, we can see Quant up 20%, KSPR up 16%, Synthetics 8%. The altcoin market today is looking relatively strong, but this is what we've been seeing time in and time out. Remember, guys, I wouldn't be jumping into the coins that are pumping on the day. What we want to do is find them before they pump and then stay patient. Now, we do have some news. Bitwise's CEO thinks the next Bitcoin bull run will start in 2023. This is pretty much in and around where I would expect us to see some moves because, of course, we do have uh, the interest rate hikes still happening. We've got inflation still getting out of control. But I do expect the Fed to pivot at some point nearing the end of this year. In 2014, the market was down 60 60%. 2018, the market was down just over 70%. And in this year, the market is again down around 60%. The expectation, if the market continues its historical trend, that we begin a new cycle next year. So as we can see from the on-chain metrics, from these CEOs, from big money, no one is really being scared off from crypto apart from mass retail investors, right? We've seen a mass exodus of retail investors in the space. Time in, time out, I've said this, the majority 
is normally wrong. And of course, the majority of the people out there think that Bitcoin is dead. Bitcoin is going down to $5,000, whatever it is. That's what the majority think. And in my opinion, if you bet against the majority, I think that you'll win. So that's my opinion, right? We got these on-chain metrics here that the active addresses continue to increase over time when comparing to bear market down periods. Currently, 980,000 unique addresses were active on the network just yesterday. Simply continues to grow. We can see back here, 2012, 2016, 2019, and all the way over to 2022, continuing to grow. Bitcoin addresses continuing to go can only really be a good thing in my opinion. And look at that number, under a million addresses. Bitcoin is currently sitting at 20,000. Let's say it has the potential to drop down to 10,000, whatever. We still only have a million addresses. We are so, so early. From the whale that we've been tracking, they actually bought some Bitcoin, around 500 Bitcoin on the 14th of October here. Remember, this could be them just transferring back the Bitcoin that they had here. Maybe they didn't sell it, but I do like to look at this as a metric to see where the whales think we're gonna go next. And lastly, we do have something interesting in the world of Shiba Inu in the fact that they've had over 100,000 new holders enter the ecosystem during this bear market. Now, that's a very interesting metric. Normally, coins like Shiba, Doge, these sorts of meme hype coins don't really see any attraction during a bear market and then they go through another boom cycle. But what we're actually seeing is the Shiba Inu holders continue to grow even though we're in this downtrend, which just means that people are still interested in crypto. And I think that there is another bull run on the horizon. Maybe it's the end of this year, maybe it's the end of next year or even later. But if we stay paying attention, I think we're going to do just fine. With that said, the Crypto Greed and Fear Index today still at a 20, meaning the market is still fully scared of what's happening. And in my opinion, buying when there's blood in the streets, when there's fear, when the majority think that you're crazy to do so is what I want to be doing. So I'm going to continue to do that and I'm going to continue to bring you guys updates each and every day. If you do want to learn how to long or short Bitcoin, check out this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.